economic importance bacteria useful in several ways for uh, human beings and environment so it is useful as well as harmful sometimes it shows a positive and negative impacts on to the human as well as living organism health as well as uh, and uh, environmental purposes so here we see in the saprophytes saprophytes are completely depends on to the uh, dead and decaying organisms they oxidize the dead and decaying organism into the simpler forms so they are very useful to the environment they are considered as scavengers of nature okay and they show the positive and negative impact they are friendly to the human being and also sometimes force to the human human being that's why they are considered as friendly and force to the uh, human being when you come to the economic importance of the bacteria especially we want to set about the agriculture so in agriculture the nitrogen is one of the basic fertilizer so that found in the basic element that found in the soil so nitrifying bacteria nitrifying bacteria can promote the ammonia oxidation into nitrates and nitrates to nitrites so the available form are nitrites to the plants so that is being given by the nitrifying bacteria those are nitrosomonas and nitrobacter so here denitrifying bacteria also there it show negative impact on to the nitrification procedure so in the presence of thiobacillus denitrificans it gives reverse reaction it produces the uh, from ammonia to aero aeric form of the nitrogen next ammonifying bacteria ammonifying bacteria means generally we are seeing the dead and decay matters of the living organisms plants and animals so those are rich of the proteins and amino acids the proteins are amino acids are decomposed oxidized into ammonia in the presence of the ammonifying bacteria so that is the example of bacillus next rhizobium leguminosarum so rhizobium bacteria it is nitrifying bacteria it uh, profound in root nodules of leguminous plants there it show the symbiotic process with the uh, symbiotic phenomena with the pea plants or leguminous plants and uh, uh, and rhizobium rhizobium and leguminous plant between these two such symbiosis is going on so it gives the available it gives the nitrogen to the it provides the nitrogens to the plant and it take the minerals and water from the that particular leguminous plants next bacillus thuringiensis when you come to the study to studies of genetic engineering so in the genetic engineering gm crops are produced so the gm crops are based on to the gene transfers here the bacillus thuringiensis is responsible for the production of bt cotton so the cry genes are produced the endotaxins the endotaxins are toxic to the insects so they have the insecticidal properties based on that we develop the bt cotton in the developing of bt cotton the bacillus thuringiensis has been utilized next is bacillus megatherium bacillus megatherium is used for tanning of tobacco in industrial manner next methanococcus and methanobacillus when you come to the gas production biogas production so the biogas production methane methane production during that methane production two microorganisms are used methanococcus as well as methanobacillus next so not only useful purpose they sometimes they show the negative purpose it means they cause the different diseases both animals and plants when you come to the diseases caused by the bacteria they are bacterial diseases so tetanus botulism cholera typhoid diphtheria tuberculosis pneumonia leprosy gonorrhea and syphilis are caused by the different types of organisms they are listed here so one is clastidium tetani it causes the disease tetanus clastidium botulism so it poisons in the presence of the clastidium botulism the food material is become complete toxic when they are injected by when they are consumed by the living organism that leads to the serious disease that is called as botulism vibrio cholera so it causes the disease of cholera salmonella typhoid typhi typhoid corini bacterium diphtheria diphtheria mycobacterium tuberculosis tuberculosis disease diplococcus pneumonia causes that pneumonia disease mycobacterium leprae leprosy 
Neisseria, Gonorrhea, Gonorrhea and Trypanosoma pallida.